Hello, hello, people. Can you hear me? Students. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Basic module two. How are you, dear students? Are you ready for the class tonight? Are you all ready? How are you? How was your weekend? I am good. Oh, yeah? You had a good it, weekend? It was great. It was great, huh? Family time, friends time, leisure time, you know, church time, maybe, if you go to church on Sundays, right? Welcome, everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome. What can you tell me about your favorite food? Huh? What can you tell me about your favorite food? Let's talk about things that you like and don't like about food. Any volunteer? For example, in my case, guys, I like I like fruits. Cereal and meat. But I don't like broccoli and beetroots. What about you? What food do you like and what food don't you like? Volunteers, raise your hand. Raise your virtual hand now. Let me see your virtual hand. Let me see your virtual hands up so you can give your opinion. Go ahead. Okay, I have Juan Jose Garcia. Go ahead. Good evening, sir. Welcome. Good evening, teacher. In my house, I like fruits and cookies and and chips. That. But I don't like um um. ¿Cómo se dice verduras en English, teacher? A ver, me? chicos, habían dos formas para decir verduras. Vegetables. Vegetables, correcto. ¿La otra forma? Veggies. Veggies. Excellent. Veggies. Hey, hey, nice job. So, you don't like veggies, Juan? Uh, I don't like. In general. Uh, yes. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, and what is your favorite fruit? My favorite fruit is mango. Mangoes? And apples and uh, pineapples. 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 Excellent, right. excellent. Thank you for the information. Good job. Let's Thank listen you. to Tamar. You're welcome. Good Plus evening, teacher. Welcome. Good evening. Okay, I'm fine, teacher. Tell me, tell me, tell me about your likes and dislikes. Okay, I like ice cream. Okay. Fruits. Mm-hmm. Um, cookies. Cookies rather yes. than crackers. <laughs> but yes, I I don't like crackers. Um, Me neither. Mm -hmm. What do you say? How do you say berenjena? Berenjena. Yes. Let me check because eggplant. Eggplant, eggplant es como el, el huevo, like... pero con, con la palabra planta. Right? Eggplant. Uh -huh. But I, I don't like eggplant. You don't like eggplants? No. Okay. That's it. What is your favorite um breakfast? What is your favorite food for breakfast? Um I like um, pancake pancake. Pancakes. You like pancakes yes. for breakfast? Yes, um eggs. With Excellent. Beans. Yes, with beans and cream. Thank you for the information, Tamar. That was pretty nice. 
So, berenjena, you say eggplants. Who likes? Who likes eggplants? Do you like eggplants? I don't like eggplants either. <laughs> I don't like. No, oh, I can't. I can't stand. I can't stand. ¿Se acuerdan? I can't stand. No puedo. No tolero. Right? No, no lo paso, decimos nosotros. Así, Salvadorian. Um, I can't stand um, eggplants. Tell us about it, Sabrina. Tell us about it. Good evening. Come on in. Good evening, teacher. Mm -hmm. um, I like fruit, candy, and chicken. But I don't like eggplants and spinach. Spinach. You don't like spinach. Okay. You don't like eggplants. Yes. Many people don't like eggplants. Um, okay, Carla. Okay. No problem. Let's go with uh, Gabriela. Tell us about your likes and dislikes. Good evening, teacher. Be my guest. Uh, I like food, quesadilla, and burritos, mm. and tacos. But Mexican food, pretty much, huh? Me Mexican food. <laughs> but I don't like mm, pasta. What? You don't like what? Pacas? Pasta. Oh, pasta. You don't like pastas like spaghetti, but I don't noodles. Like pasta. Oh, how about how about if the pasta has some meat? Porque hay pastas que traen carnita. O sea, ya con la carnita, mis. Mm. No, you don't like pasta, huh? Pro probably yes. What do you prefer? What do you prefer? Mexican food or Italian food? Okay, Patricia says I like apples, blueberries. Mexican food. You prefer Mexican food. Blueberries, cookies, but I don't like fish. You don't like fish? Come on. Fish is healthy. Fish is good. All right, Gabriela, thank you. Let's go with Daniela. Be my guest. Hi. Um, I like iced coffee. Mm. I like strawberries. Stro uh, strawberries. Strawberries. And I like cheese. Cheese. Oh, cheese is now expensive. But, but definitely I don't like milk milk you don't milk. like milk no I what, don't. what do you mean um do you like do you like coffee with milk i but i ice coffee but ice coffee mm -hmm, mm -hmm. but just milk you don't like it no no what about what about what about cereal what about cereal in the cereal in the bowl of cereal you need to put some milk do you like it like that no, I I don't like that. You. I I prefer with with um honey. Okay, got it. I understand. You have your likes. Everyone has different likes. This is this is what it makes it interesting. What is what is your favorite meal? A ver, aprendamos esta palabra, guys. Meal. It's M E A L. Repeat meal. 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 What is your favorite meal? ¿A qué me estoy refiriendo con meal? Me refiero a tiempo de comida. Puede ser breakfast, puede ser lunch, o puede ser lunch and dinner. Dinner. So la pregunta es, what is your favorite meal, Daniela? Um, my favorite meal is breakfast. 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 Nicely done. Let's go. Thank you for your participation. Ya no tenemos más participación. Ya se acabó. Vaya, pues. Ya se acabaron las participaciones. Manzana. ¿Cómo se dice manzana, chicos? Apple. Apple. Green apple. 
Ah, Green, Green Apple. Apple. That's a preference. That's a preference. Y, y solo una manzana. ¿Cómo se dice? Una manzana. <laughs> Vaya, pues eso ya lo tenemos que manejar. Eso de los artículos ya lo tenemos que manejar. An apple, an apple. ¿Y cómo se dicen 10 manzanas? 10 apples. 10 apples. Excellent. Bueno, no tenemos más participación, chicos. Thank you so much. Let's go to the attendance. Let's go to the attendance. Oh, my God. Se puso a cargar otra vez esto. Okay. <clears throat> ya se dieron cuenta que esta es nuestra última semana, chicos. This is the last week. Ya yes. saben cuántas clases nos quedan, ¿ah? ¿eh? Cuatro más. Four Cuatro more classes. Yes. Here we go with Alba, Luz, Cruz, De Vasquez. Are you in the house? Present teacher. Already. Yes. Andrea Elizabeth Gonzalez Burgos. Present teacher. Already. Carlos David Lopez Amaya. Present teacher. Perfect. Be my guest. Um, Claudia Margarita Constante Quesada. Present. Ok, Daniela Mercedes Olivares Recinos. Present, teacher. Teacher, tengo una pregunta. Adelante. Este, ¿Para cuándo es la canción? ¿Para qué día? ¿La canción? La sí, vamos la a hacer el jueves. Con eso nos vamos a despedir el jueves. ¿Les parece? Con eso cerramos, chicos. La, la practicaron ya. La practicaron. What do you do? Ya me han dado yes, una demostración, ¿no? Ah, ya estuve. ¿Has practicado la clase el viernes? No, no, sir, el viernes ya no. Hasta el jueves llegamos. Yeah. 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 Okay, yeah. 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 Okay, yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah. 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 Yeah.
my screen. Okay, this is the last topic. And we're gonna get into 4.3. It says some and any, some and any countable and non-countable nouns, right? And we have a video to watch. First of all, some and any. Grammatically, guys, tenemos una pregunta. Santos, Guadalupe, adelante. Go ahead. Que no le pude contestar la asistencia porque estaba algo, lo siento, ocupada. No problem. All right. Okay. okay. Let's watch this video, guys. Please pay attention. Preguntas al final. Watch the video. Pay attention. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn what count and non-count nouns are. Additionally, you'll learn how to use the expressions some and any. Let's get started by listening to a conversation titled, How About Some Sandwiches? Which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Let's listen and practice. What do you want for the picnic? Hmm, how about some sandwiches? Okay. We have some chicken in the refrigerator, but we don't have any bread. And we don't have any cheese. Do we have any drinks? No, we need some. All right. Let's get some lemonade. And let's buy some potato salad. Sure. Everyone likes potato salad. The first thing that I would like to explain is this concept of count and non-count nouns. A noun is a person, a place, or a thing. So basically anything that can be seen around you is a noun. Uh, in English, we have two types of nouns. We have count nouns and non-count nouns. Count nouns are those things that you can count. As you can see on the chart, an egg, eggs, a sandwich, sandwiches. We can count eggs and sandwiches. Non-count nouns are those things that you can't count because it's impossible to count. For example, liquids such as water, lemonade, milk, etc. On the chart you can see a couple of examples. Bread, lemonade. Let's take a look at all the examples on this chart. Some and any. Count and non-count nouns. Do we need any eggs? Yes, let's get some eggs. No, we don't need any eggs. Do we need any bread? Yes, let's get some bread. No, we don't need any bread. Count nouns. An egg. Eggs. A sandwich. Sandwiches. Non-count nouns. Bread. Lemonade. Specific. I'm eating an egg. Let's get some bread. General. Eggs are good for you. Bread is good for you. The next important thing to understand is the usage of some and any. Some and any are used to express quantity. I would like to analyze the questions first. Our first question, do we need any eggs? When forming questions, we may use any or some. For example, we could also say, do we need some eggs? Our next question, do we need any bread? We could also say, do we need some bread? However, when responding to these type of questions, we can only use some when responding positively. In our example, we can see how the question, do we need any eggs, is answered by saying, yes, let's get some eggs. And the question, do we need any bread, 
is answer positively by saying, yes, let's get some bread. Finally, we can only use any when responding negatively. So as we can see on both of the questions display, no, we don't need any eggs. Now it's your turn to practice by making some examples of your own. I would like for you to look into your fridge and make a list of all the things that you need and don't need to buy from the grocery store. For example, I need some eggs. I don't need any milk. After you finish this activity, please share your work in our discussion forums. Hello. Are do those things that you can count? Questions. Do we have questions? This is the moment. Okay, so we don't have questions, huh? I'm sorry? Need. Need es necesitar. Cuando tú necesitas algo, te hace falta algo. Se parece al verbo want. Como querer algo, puedes usar cualquiera. Want o need. Bien. Um, comencemos por nouns. ¿Qué es un noun, guys? ¿Qué es un noun? Solo esta palabrita acá. Noun. ¿Qué es un noun? Okay, aquí está. Noun Como is a person. Pronombre. Yes, look. Noun is a person. It's a place. Or thing. Yes? A noun is a person. It's a place. Or it's a thing. Es una persona. Es un lugar o es una cosa. Ese es un noun. Es un nombre. Noun. Eh, entre los nouns tenemos count nouns, repeat, count nouns, que también podríamos decirle como countable, repeat, countable nouns. I'm sorry for that interruption. Let me share my screen again. Hasta donde me quedé. Noun person. Okay, decíamos que un noun es person, place, or thing. Persona, lugar, o cosa. Dentro de los nouns tenemos count nouns, contables. Repeat, count nouns. Count, count nouns, count. Son los contables. Y también tenemos non-count nouns. Repeat, non-count no, no, nouns. Count. Okay. Okay. Um, Examples of countable nouns. Aquí tenemos dos ejemplos. Tenemos an egg. Egg is a countable noun. ¿Por qué es un countable noun? Because you can count it. Because you can count it. Porque puedes Porque contarlo. Correcto. Eh, an, egg. an egg significa un huevo. Y para decir dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis huevos... Vamos a decir eggs, right? Vamos a usar ahí el número y vamos a decir eggs con S. Vamos a escribir esta S y a la hora de hablar no la vamos a ignorar. Vamos a pronunciar eggs. Repeat, an egg. An egg. Eggs. 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 Also, sandwich. Ahora, sandwich comienza con consonant sound, entonces el artículo que uso es A. Ah, a sandwich. A sandwich. A sandwich. sandwich. And the plural is sandwiches. Sandwich. Sandwiches. Sandwich. Can you give me an example? Can you give me an example of a countable noun saying the singular and saying the plural? For example, a class. Classes. En este caso puse ES porque class termina con doble S. A ver, volunteers, raise your hand. Raise your hand to give a... Uh, Countable nouns, um, singular and plural. 
Raise your hand, please. For example, Some? a house, a, a house, houses. Yes, Tamar, you have an example. A book table, tables. Okay, a table, tables. King Mas, Wilfredo, go ahead. Uh, a song, songs. ¿Estás hablando de canciones? Eh, hijo. ¿Hijo, varón o hijo, niña? Hija, hija, Varón. Niña. <ríe> <ríe> varón. <ríe> Lo que pasa es que ahí eh, tenemos ahí un dilema, porque son es un hijo varón, ¿verdad? Entonces puede que tú tengas dos hijos varones, ¿right? Bueno, en ese sí, caso, sí, el sí. singular sería a son, así con el, con el artículo, ¿verdad? A uh -huh. son. Y entonces el plural sería songs. ¿Ah? Uh -huh. Pero si estamos hablando de un hijo y sin especificar si es niño o niña, vamos a decir a child. Este es un irregular porque el plural es diferente. Children es el plural. Ok. ¿Alguien más? Al decir, child, al decir child, se abarcan los dos, ambos sexos. Puede ser. No estás, no estás diciendo el sexo. Solo estás diciendo que es un bebé que tú tienes. Ok. Ajá. Ok, let's listen to Daniela's example. Um, a blueberries. Blueberries. Excellent, Daniela. Laura, can you have, can you provide your example, please? Book a books. Ah, 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 ¿cuál sería el singular? Book a cuando books. Es, cuando es singular, vas a usar el artículo a or an, porque eso significa uno o una. Entonces, está mala la a books. ¿Cómo se dice un libro? Books. No. Nope. Book. Uno, uno se dice a o se dice an, dependiendo de cómo comienza. Acá, ¿me ves acá en la pantalla? Este sí. a y este an, yo lo necesito en el singular. Siempre y cuando sea contable, ¿verdad? Tú estás diciendo el libro que se dice book, book. Que ¿Okay? para decir un libro, book comienza con consonant, con la b, entonces vas a usar a. A book. Repeat. A book. Correcto. Y para el plural vas a agregar solo S, le quitas el artículo y agregas S. ¿Cómo sería el plural? A books. No, porque me le puso A al plural. Aquí en el plural no lleva A. Solo en el singular a lleva. Book. A ver, ya me estás confundiendo. <ríe> ¿Quién me aclara ahí? ¿Cómo sería, chicos? ¿Un libro? Sería a book. A book. A book. Correcto. A book sería un libro. A book. Plural. Books. Ojo, en el plural ya no necesitamos el artículo. ¿eh? Aquí dije an egg para un huevo. Para varios huevos solo digo eggs. A sandwich, a sandwich para un emparedado. Sandwiches, solo sandwiches. Pueden ser two sandwiches, three sandwiches. Ahí ya no necesito el artículo, right? Un ejemplo más, Juan José, go ahead. A uh, brother, brothers. Excellent, excellent, good job. All right, vámonos a non-count nouns. Non-count nouns. No contables, no se pueden contar. Examples? Bread. Repeat, bread. Bread. And lemonade. Lemonade. Bueno, todo lo que sea un líquido is, is, is non-count now. Soda, coffee, water, uh, milk, Juice, tea, coffee, 
etc., it's non-count now. For example, bread, bueno, en Estados Unidos, bread, el pan es el largo, ¿verdad? No es como acá, que quizás sí lo podríamos contar nosotros, ¿verdad? Pero en realidad, bread no sería contable. ¿Qué más no sería contable? What else? Can I have examples of non-count nouns? Who has examples of non-count nouns? Raise your virtual hand now. Raise your virtual hand now. Y espero que estemos entendiendo la diferencia entre count nouns, que eran los que sí puedo contar, para decir uno, agrego el artículo, y para decir el plural, agrego S o ES, right? Ahorita estamos ya con non-count nouns. A ver, Laura, do you have an example? The su uh, sugar teacher. Sugar. Correct. Sugar. No se puede contar. Ahora, a menos que, right, digamos que sean cucharadas de azúcar, ¿verdad? Si ahí sí, puedo decir two sugar spoons, ¿verdad? Dos cucharadas de azúcar. Five sugar spoons, ahí sí, pero solo azúcar, sugar, is non-countable. Tamar, go ahead. Maybe honey. Honey. Yes. Honey, that's correct. Honey is uncountable. Cream is uncountable. Cheese is uncountable. Juan Jose, continue, please. Rice. Rice is uncountable. Beans is uncountable. Soup is uncountable. Beach. What? Beach? Beach. Teach? Ok, Wilfredo, go ahead. Imagination. Imagination. Information. Information. Oh, my God. Este hombre ya va más adelantado, miren. Información. Information. La información no se puede contar. No puedo decirte, hey, dame dos informaciones. No, ¿verdad? Entonces, solo information no se puede contar. ¿Qué más me dijo antes de eso, Will? Uh, imagination Imagination Sabrina dice shoes Zapatos A ver, shoes ¿Qué es, qué es shoes? ¿Es countable o non-countable? It's countable Countable It's countable Shoes is countable Yes Gabriela, go ahead Water Water is uncountable Soda is uncountable Oil Muy bien Perfecto, ahora cuando hablamos usando any, usando some, ok, podemos usar any y podemos usar some en preguntas. Do we need any eggs? Necesitamos algunos huevos. Do we need some eggs? Necesitamos algunos huevos. Es lo mismo. Right? Ahora, en las respuestas, en la pregunta podemos jugar con los dos. Ok, some or any. Yo te puedo preguntar, hey, do you, do you need any... Cheese? O te puede preguntar, uh, do you need some cheese? Es lo mismo, no problem. Y ahora en la respuesta, ahí sí es diferente, porque si es afirmativo, voy a usar some. Yes, sí necesito, let's get some. O let's get some eggs. Ok, let's get some, some. Vamos a comprar, vamos a conseguir algunos huevos. Or no, we don't need negatives. En las negativas voy a usar any. Solo en la respuesta, chicos. Affirmative, some. Negative, any. We don't need any eggs. No, no, no necesitamos ningunos huevos. Right? Cuando es uh, un, uh, countable, vean eggs. Y cuando es non-countable, siempre voy a usar la misma forma. No hay problema. Por ejemplo, do we need any bread? ¿Necesitamos algo de pan? Yes, let's get some bread. Sí, vamos a comprar, vamos a conseguir. Or no, we don't need any bread. Okay. That's okay. So, what we're going to do now is that we're going to talk about what do you need In your refrigerator, vayan a revisar el refri y me dicen para hacerles la lista aquí del shopping. Right? 
me dicen qué es lo que necesitan. ¿Qué me vas a decir? Ah, I need. I need. Y como es afirmativa, voy a decir I need some. Ojo, que los compañeros vamos a hacer preguntas, right? Vamos a hacerte preguntas. Do you need, do you, vamos a usar. Do you need any, do you need any oil? Ah, do you need any oil? Do you need any coffee? Etc. Tú vas a decir yes or no, depending. A ver, ¿quiénes están listos para hablar de lo que um, necesitan en su refrigerator? What do you need in your refrigerator right now? Raise your virtual hand for your participation, please. Okay. We have only Gabriela. Are you ready, Gabriela? Yes, teacher. Tell me, tell me, Gabriela, what do you need in your refrigerator? Um, do you need uh, some eggs? Yo necesito. How do you say yo necesito? Uh, how do you say? I, I need. need. ¿Se acuerdan que les dije? I need or I want. Some. Some. Okay. Eggs. Can you repeat the example? I need some eggs. Correcto. Okay. Only that? Excuse me. Only that, solo eso, only that. What about, what about some uh, meat? Do you need, do you need any, la pregunta, do you need any meat? No, I don't. Okay, not a problem. Thank you so much for your participation. Go ahead, Daniela, what do you need in your refrigerator? Well, my mom said that we need some butter. Butter? Mm, yes, definitely. What else do you need? Do you need any milk? No, we don't need any milk. How about how about some tomatoes or potatoes? No, we don't need any potatoes and tomatoes. We have a lot. Do you have any bread? Yes, I have some bread. Nice, nice. All right, well done. Congratulations. That was pretty natural. All right, let me go with who? Tomar, you ready? Ahora ustedes hacen preguntas, yes. chicos. Carlos yes, David, right. Claudia y Daniela harán las preguntas. Go ahead, tell us, tell us what, what do you need in your refrigerator? Danos todo lo que necesites, please. Aquí te vamos a hacer una cooperacha. Aquí te vamos a comprar todo eso. Ok. I need some tomatoes. Um, mm -hmm. Potatoes. Um, butter. Um, beans. Beans, definitely, yeah. Yes, beans. Um, rice. Rice. Eh, yes. do, you, do you need any yogurt? Oh, yes, I need. I need some. Repeat, I need some. Sí, I, I need some. Mm, nice. Excellent, excellent. A ver las preguntas. Go ahead. Hi, do you need any jam? Excellent. Do you understand the question? It's it's for me the question. Yes, it's for you. Oh, okay. Yes, I need some. You need some. Okay, next question. Okay. Do you need any coffee?
Okay. Do you need any coffee? All right. Thank you for your participation. Nicely done. Nicely done. We have a chat. He says, I need tomatoes, potatoes. Vaya, pero ponele el some, Patricia. Like, I need some. I need some potatoes, tomatoes, avocado, and eggs. Interesting. Okay. Perfect. Perfect. Um, Let me see. Let me close this one. Let me close this one. And we're going to continue to the next page. We're going to go with the next objective. We're going to talk about foods and countries. Traditional foods in different countries. Okay. For example, in Mexico, right? Do you know the traditional food from Mexico? Like Mexican torras, tacos, burritos. In El Salvador, obviously, right? Pupusas. So here we have some other traditional dishes. Let's check it out. Hi everyone. In this class, you'll learn about common breakfast foods in different countries. Additionally, you'll practice a conversation which illustrates some cultural differences in food. Let's get started by learning what people in the US, Japan, and Mexico eat for breakfast. What do you have for breakfast? The US. Eggs. Bacon. Toast with butter, orange juice, coffee, jam, jelly. Japan. Fish, rice, soup, pickles, green tea. Mexico. Eggs, beans. Tortillas, fresh fruit, sweet bread, coffee with milk. So what do you have for breakfast? Next, what I would like for you to do is to listen to a conversation which illustrates this topic. Let's listen and practice. Fish for breakfast? Let's have breakfast together on Sunday. Okay, come to my house. My family always has a Japanese-style breakfast on Sundays. Really? What do you have? We usually have fish, rice, and soup. Fish for breakfast? That's interesting. Sometimes we have a salad, too, and we always have green tea. Well, I never eat fish for breakfast, but I like to try new things. Now it's your turn to practice this conversation along with the vocabulary. You may watch this video as many times as necessary. I would also like for you to answer the following question in our discussion forums. What do you have for breakfast? What do you have for breakfast? So what do you have for breakfast, guys? Let's check in the U.S. Can you tell me in the U.S. what do people have for breakfast in the U.S.? Eggs, bacon. Eggs, bacon. bacon toast. Only that? Toast with butter, orange juice, orange juice coffee, coffee yes. and jelly. Orange. Eggs, bacon. And jelly. bacon. Toast with butter. Toast with butter. Toast with butter. Orange juice. Coffee, jam, jelly. Okay, jam and jelly. Okay, what about in Japan? Look at Japan, it's a lot different. What do people have for breakfast in Japan? Go ahead. Fish, fish, rice, 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 soup, soup, guys, soup, pickles, and green tea. All right. Now, Mexico. Look at Mexico. It's more 
variety in Mexico. What do people have for breakfast in Mexico? Go ahead. That's my favorite coffee with milk. Okay, here beans, eggs, beans, tortillas, fresh fruit, and sweet bread. Do you know what is sweet bread? Pan dulce. Pan dulce. Sweet bread. Excellent. Nice job. So tell me, guys, what do you usually have for breakfast? What do you usually have for breakfast? Do I have all of the... Gabriela, go ahead. What do you usually have for breakfast? Excuse me, teacher. No, escucho muy bien. Yeah, what is what is what do you what do you have for breakfast? For example, me, I have for breakfast for breakfast I have pupusas, maybe two or three pupusas sometimes. Um but most of the times I have beans, eggs, cheese, bread, and coffee for breakfast. How about you? Today in the morning, I had breakfast, uh, pupusas, um, coffee, uh, bread. 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 All right. Nicely done. Okay, Daniela, go ahead. Um, I have for breakfast, I usually have for, for breakfast, um, toast bread with peanut butter and jelly. And That's like an American coffee, breakfast. But it's, it's delicious. Oh, yeah, definitely. But the, what I'm saying is that that's like a, a United States, North American native <laughs> breakfast like they love pancakes they love like uh peanut yes. butter sandwiches yeah yeah but i i i like so much peanut butter oh me too i'm a fan for a peanut butter me too me too we have something in common okay uh juan ho go ahead i have for breakfast uh cereal with milk cereal yeah, cereal with milk. Nice, nice. Ah, huh? you you're the cereal guy, huh? You like cereal for breakfast. Do you have a favorite cereal or do you change cereal from time to time? I love cereal sucaritas. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Great job, Hound. Huh? Great job, Juan. Great job, guys. Thank you for your participation. Let's continue. Imagine, imagine in Japan, what do people have in Japan for breakfast? Do you know? Japan. What do people have for breakfast in Japan? They have fish. Fish. Um? They have fish for breakfast, fish and soup for breakfast. That's a different uh, type of likes, right? So what do you what do you have for breakfast? What do you have for breakfast? Huh? Let me ask um, Andrea, what do you have for breakfast? What time? I am. ¿Qué es lo que como en el desayuno, teacher? Yes, you understand. You understand. <laughs> okay, okay. Um, sometimes I eat pupusas or a typical Salvadorian food. Or 
or typical or? Salvadorian food mm, like yes. like uh, beans right beans eggs and bananas bananas fried bananas yes fried bananas oh I love fried bananas do you like okay. fried bananas guys <laughs> Or, or like. boiled bananas. Some people prefer boiled bananas. Bananas, but with peanut butter. <laughs> <laughs> still with peanut butter. Still with your peanut butter. All right. Let me see who else. Let me see who else. Diana, what do you have for breakfast, Diana? Two questions. What do you have for breakfast and what is your favorite okay. meal? I love those. Mm -hmm. Okay, my favorite sometimes I eat fruit with oatmeal, coffee with meal, or just coffee, um, eggs, um, banana. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, all right. And um, what is your favorite meal? Meal. Meal. What is meal? What is meal? What is meal, guys? I don't remember. Leche. Leche. No, that's Breakfast milk. That's milk. Or dinner or lunch. Correct. Oh. Correct. It's breakfast, lunch, Are or old. dinner. Are all. <laughs> all of them? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're the first I student who says eat. that. <laughs> I love you like to eat. eating, huh? <laughs> yes. Oh, yeah. That's one of the best pleasures in life. With us as well, I have breakfast, eggs. Wait, wait, wait. Espérate. Entonces era, well, I have eggs, beans, cream, coffee, and bread for breakfast. Al final vas a poner for breakfast. Nice job. Hey, Carlos teacher. David, okay. are you there, Carlos? Hey, teacher. Hey, can you tell me about what do you have for breakfast? Mm, I like uh, typical food. Typical mm, for food? Example, for example, uh, eggs, beans, um, tortilla, uh, coffee. Do you like tamales? Yes, I like tamales. And what is your favorite meal, Carlos? Um, and breakfast. Breakfast. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Thank you so much. Ovidio, are you in the house? Yes, teacher. Tell us about uh, what do you have for breakfast and also what is your favorite meal? I breakfast in coffee with milk and sweet bread. Um, uh -huh. Classic Salvadorian, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. So you have like a sweet bread and coffee for breakfast, huh? And what is your favorite meal? And uh, my favorite is tamale. Oh, that's your favorite food. That's your favorite food. Yo te pregunté, what is your favorite meal? ¿Te acordás que era meal o video? M-E-A-L. Uh, leche, yes. No, that's yes, milk. Yes. Se me están confundiendo con milk and meal. Be careful. Meal es un tiempo de comida. Breakfast, lunch, or dinner. Good for us as well, eggs, beans, cream, coffee, coffee, and bread. Nice, nice. I agree with you. I agree with you. Gabriela, go ahead. I usually I eat fruit, beans, cheese, avocados, scramble. Avocados, eggs. avocados. Avocados. Uh -huh. Scramble eggs. Do you do you cook? Do you cook? Yes. Ah, oh, nice, 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 nice. Interesting. Okay, guys, 
Let me check the attendance. Ya no nos queda tanto tiempo, pero vamos a quedarnos ahí con la plataforma. Let me check the attendance. Solo los que no había mencionado, ¿ok? Sería Patricia Alexandra Melara Culocho. No, ¿verdad? Let me see. Ouch. Ahí está, ahí está. No sé qué le había movido, pero algo le moví. Ya estoy acá de regreso. All right. Entonces, Esteban Otoniel Chiquillo Rodríguez. Presente. Excellent, sir. Thank you for being in the class. Gracias por estar con nosotros en la clase. Hey, sir, Rocío Pastrán de Enríquez. Karen Jamilet Pérez Martínez. Yes, and teacher. Thank you, Karen. Crisia Gabriela Barrera Mengíbar. Present teacher. Wow, thank you. Thank you for being connected in the class, um, Crisia. How about Laura Noemi Dimas Escobar? Present teacher. Thank you so much. And now Marlon David Peraza Chiquillo. Present teacher. Thank you. Tenemos a Pamela Alexandra Melara Colocho. Patricia Jamilet Martínez Landa Verde. Present teacher. Thank you, Patricia. Ok, creo que ahí estamos. Let me see, let me see, let me see. Sí, 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 los demás están present. No problem. And this guy, this is, oh, Santos Guadalupe Ruiz Ventura. Sí me dijo que estaba, ¿verdad? Aquí Present. Está. Thank you so much. Ah, pues sí. Y Telma Jamilet Hernández Mezquita. Yeah. Present, teacher. Vilma Esmeralda Vanegas Pacheco. And Wilfredo Bonilla Álvarez. Thank you very much, guys, for your attention. No more words, needless to say. I will see you tomorrow. One more class. Tomorrow, Tuesday. I'll see you. Good night. Bye. Good night. See ya. Sweet dreams. Sweet dreams. Thank you. Bye-bye <laughs> now. Bye. Bye.